Hello, this is my electrolyzer prototype version 2. Its codename is Crudeness. As you can see, it's held together by four square steel tubes and pressed by threaded rods. This is about the height of one unit. Here you can see a bunch of plates. As you can see, it's pretty much a chunk of metal, so it's pretty heavy. Here are some gaskets. The inner square was eyeballed and cut by hand. They are kinda random, in fact. In the previous video I talked about the surprise. And this is it. It's IBM T60 notebook. The lead material and some of the inside shell is made of aluminum magnesium alloy. And unfortunately I don't have a lead right now so I was hoping that I can burn this thing and well make some kinda show I thought that I can break this shell into smaller pieces and light it on fire but unfortunately it didn't work very well I guess this is because the magnesium oxide and aluminum oxide forms a kind of thick layer and it prevents air access to the material. So I couldn't make a really big fire from this. Well, that's a pity, but whatever. Then I thought I could use this to make a magnesium sulfate so I can make some, well, chemistry video. But the problem is that this alloy contains about 13% of magnesium. Magnesium sulfide is kind of available to the public, so so I dumped these ideas and the material. Now I have uh, both modules of electrolyzer completed and assembled. So I made a big bubbler, which also functions as a water reservoir. And you can see right now how the water level is behaving when the unit is turned on. This runs from the mains voltage it's rectified only, there's no smoothing capacitor. I don't know if the capacitor is really necessary because in the smaller, in the smaller electrolyzer I was measuring the voltage between the plates and when I disconnect the power supply there was, there was about 1.2 volts per one cell. So actually when you disconnect this from the power it acts kinda like a fuel cell or, or battery I don't know what the exact chemistry is in here. Here you can see how the system behaves when the cell is started and some gas evolution that you may have clue how big that gas evolution is but I didn't measure that. Such a big gas evolution is kind of problem because I don't want to have too much gas in the bubbler because if the flashback occurs then I'm sure that it can withstand small explosions but big ones I don't know really. I also want to make new end plates for the electrolyzer unit because as you can see now there's some wood with some acrylic plate and it's very bendy and the electrolyzer unit it is kinda leaking when I connect some nozzle to the outlet. Plans for the next video is I think the main problem right now is the bubbler. I need small bubbler with very small amount of gas inside. With this safety bubbler we can test a bunch of flashback arresters and maybe a torch itself and I certainly want to do some explosions because if you don't push things to the extreme you never really know what can happen. But I think this will be a very safe experiment, also maybe fun to watch.